Okay, guys, the first app you want to put on your phone is weatherunderground.com. This is an awesome map. It has a daily forecast of the weather. And actually, this one I've got it set on. It's set on 10 days. But this, this app really provides you several very important things. Like tomorrow I'm going to fish. It's Thursday. I go down here. It's going to tell me the wind for that day. It says it's not going to be over two miles per hour that day. So it's not going to be windy tomorrow. It goes up and it tells me the rain chances. More importantly, though, it tells me what the barometric pressure is doing. And the barometric pressure, pressure tomorrow around 10 o'clock is going to be starting to drop. And at 10 o'clock when that barometric pressure stops, the fish will really start picking up their feeding habits. It shows the temperature fluctuation. But it also gives you a 10-day where the barometric pressure is going to be. So if you're planning, you're flexible, and just say you want to plan a fishing trip over the next two or three days, you want to right here where this barometric pressure is, is bottomed out will be a great day to fish. Here will be a good day to fish where it really drops out as well, and it's going to be raining. I love fishing in the rain. But weatherunderground.com is a must app to have on your phone. You take these apps I'm getting ready to give you, and it will definitely change your game on fishing. Weatherunderground.com. Okay, folks, the second app that you want to add to your phone is the Navionics web app. This is uh, their, their charting app. This is something I use on a daily basis. I'm always studying, uh, studying this map, looking for pinch points. Let's go up here today and let's look. Uh, let's go to Watch Bar Lake, which is one of the lakes I fish. Let's go down here to Thief Neck Island. You can blow this map up, which is great. Uh, it'll tell you things like right here is a submerged bridge. It shows you the main channel. The little white spots are going to show you right here if you want to zoom in on them. It's going to show you some of the deeper holes in the water. You know, if you like fishing deep water this time of year. And then it's going to show you some, another little submerged bridge. It's going to show you a little cove right there. Um, it shows you the channel. And then it shows you the ledges on the channel. It shows you how big a drop off the ledges have. Another submerged bridge. You have a creek bed that comes out right here, which would be a great place to anchor up. So this app right here is really a neat app. Um, to have on your phone, you could study, you can look for pinch points here where the river chart, uh, the river splits up. It makes a narrow spot right here, a great little pinch point right there. So this is a, definitely an app you need to add to your phone. It's, it's the Navionics web app. Okay, guys, the th third app that you want to add to your phone is the TBA.gov app. This app allows you to check the dam generation schedule for whatever particular body of water you're fishing in, all the way from Cherokee Dam in Upper East Tennessee, all the way into Gunnersville, Wheeler Dam, all the way down into Alabama. This is a great app to determine what your generation is, which basically is gonna determine you know, how you're gonna fish. Are they gonna be running a lot of current? Like tomorrow I'm going to Loudoun. So I'm going to click on Loudoun here. And it's going to tell them, am I going to be drift fishing or am I going to be anchor fishing? Tomorrow, they're from, from midnight tonight to midnight tomorrow, they're going to run two or more at, two or more generators, as you can see right here. So tomorrow, they're going to be running heavy current. Anything over 16,000 over Loudon would be considered heavy current. Tomorrow, they're going to run 22,000 uh, average flow out of Loudon. So tomorrow, I'm going to be fishing. I'm going to be anchor fishing. Um, so this is important, particularly if you're going to be below dams, you know, it lets you know when the generators are going to be on uh, and the other areas as well. So, you know, what's the dams below you doing? What's the dams above you doing? This is a very, very important app. So make sure you add this app to your phone as well, tva.gov. Okay, guys, the fourth and final app that we're going to use today is the Solar Lunar Forecast and Prediction app. This is app number four. This app is real important because it provides you several different things. It provides you the sunrise, sunset, which is real important if you duck hunt or you deer hunt, but also lets you know what time of day it's gonna be getting, uh, the, the sunrise is gonna be coming up. It also has the lunar moon phase, and this is real important. Uh, we just came out of a full moon, and a lot of people wanna know, hey, what, what phase is the moon in? You can check it on a daily basis. It'll let you know when it's at its darkest point, which is the waning 1%. And then we'll be coming back to another full moon. It also has the major feeding times, like tomorrow I'm fishing, which is the 6. And it says from 10.08 a.m. to 12.08 p.m. is going to be the best time. So there's a two-hour window there tomorrow 
uh, for fishing. Then it has a minor time, which is going to be tomorrow afternoon at 5 o'clock. This is an awesome app for predicting moon phase, um, when are the best times to fish to be out on the water, and also for checking what sunrise and sunset is. Make sure you add this app to your phone as well. Okay, guys, I've given you four great apps. The weatherunderground.com, the TVA Generation app, the Navionics app, and then the Solar Forecast app. You take those four apps, you can determine how you're going to fish, what methods you're going to use, when the best time to fish, what your moon phase is, what type of rigs, baits, and things. All those things factored in with your gear, your bait, your boating techniques uh, will, will definitely increase your game on, on catching fish. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me. My email is TennesseeRiverMonsters at Yahoo.com or leave some comments in the comment section. Thanks, guys, and please keep me updated on how all these apps are helping you out in your game of fishing.